Hey guys, Mike Sumsky here, and I've got another real estate investing tip for you. Now, this one revolves around uh, capturing leads online. So I've talked a lot in the past about the importance of being able to uh, build a buyer's list or capture uh, seller leads online uh, using a uh, you know lead capture form. And a lot of people are confused as to how to do it. Now, um, the resource that I wanted to show you is very, very simple. It's called JotForm. If you go to JotForm.com, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own lead capture form online and even uh, have it displayed even if you don't even have a website. So uh, let's go through here. If you go to JotForm.com, uh, this is what you're going to get. We'll start creating our first form. Now, what this will allow you to do is to create a form and with, without actually um, getting a registering for it, it's completely free to register. Um, you can have 20 submissions, but if you register, you get um, 100 submissions for free. That will definitely get you started. Uh, they do have some premium plans available, but uh, let's just go into to actually making a form. So very, very easy to use. Uh, you have your form tools on the left where you can have your different types of forms. Uh, quick tools, you can add uh, uh, default things like email, address, phone, and all that sort of thing. Um, but for the form, let's start off by putting in a heading. So this is basically your headline. We want to put something in here that's eye-catching that will compel somebody to enter the form. And so uh, let's just do this. All right, so this is um, going to be used to build a buyer's list. So we say get instant access to discount local investment deals 30 to 50% below market. And uh, we can actually put a subheading in there, something that text that would go below. Um, simply All right, so we added a subheading, and now what we want to do is we want to fill out or put our form fields in here. So with the quick tools, it gives you a way to um, simply just click and add, say, like the full name. Um, we could add an email address, and anything that you want to have required, email address is one of those that you certainly want them to uh, require them to fill out. We just hit this require button. Uh, we'll say we want them to do a phone number. We can do that. And uh, you, you could ask them to fill out their address, but uh, what I find is the more information that you ask or require them to fill out, the, least, the less likely they are to fill out the form. So um, I'm not really interested in getting their, their mailing address. Any leads I send them are going to be through email. So let's just go and delete that. And uh, also, um, I don't at this point really need them to fill out their last name. Uh, I'm just first name and email is good starting out so let's just kill that and then we can go up to form tools and just create a text box uh, where we just say first name and then what we need to do is we can click and drag these into position so I mean it's just drag and drop simple if you can it's even easier than a word processor in my opinion uh, well, let's say if we did want to get a little bit of detailed information about what kind of properties they're looking for, maybe maybe certain areas, uh, we can maybe put a drop-down menu in here and uh, maybe list some counties or cities that uh, they might be interested in. So if we want to um, have them specify which counties they're looking in, we can say counties they're interested in. And then with this drop-down, Right now, there's three of these generic options, but we can change those options, like King, Pierce. Oh, actually, you know what? We don't want to drop down on this, we because we want them to be able to pick more than one. So I'm actually going to kill this one. We're actually going to do a checkbox. All right, so that's better. Counties, you're interested. So you see why we did that? Because if they are, are interested in more than one county, we want to be able to give them the, the chance to uh, select more than one. 
And if you uh, want, you can add a new option. So we can do that, say Snohomish. All right, so that might be some information that you'd want them to submit. And uh, we can go and we can, maybe we can uh, ask them how quickly they can close. And maybe for that, we'll do a drop down. Having trouble typing here. And so let's just say under two weeks, two to four weeks. and then four plus weeks. And then uh, you can ask uh, other information like what kind of properties they're looking for. Uh, again, I prefer to keep these pretty simple. So what I am gonna do is gonna give them a text area that they can submit other information. And uh, maybe we can just say comments or We can do that. Anything else you can tell us what the type of property you're looking for? So that is it for the form. Uh, what we're going to want to do is a couple other things. So this, uh, we click on the setup and embed. Or actually, no, let's go over here. Like for form style, we can actually choose themes. We can make this kind of look um, a little bit prettier. There's all these different themes that you can do. Uh, let's see. We can just click on this pastel one. That is kind of cool. Um, so that just changes the look of our form. Oh, notice right here, I've got the submit button. I actually have that in the middle of the form. We don't want that, so let's let's go and click and drag this all the way down to the bottom. Uh, we can even change the text of the submit form button. So if we go to submit text, all right, so we just change the form submit button to join our VAP buyers list. And if you wanted to, you could even click button image. If there's an image of a button that you want to um, use as your submit button, you can just copy and paste the, the URL of where the button's located. We're not gonna do that here. And then uh, let's see, we want to also uh, create an email address. So if somebody fills out this form, you need to put your email address in there so that they can, they can con or the form will be sent to you. So let's go to email alerts. We'll say add new email, and this is going to be a notification email. So the form, the email will be from their say first name, and it also from their email address. And so we want to type in our email here. Okay, we'll hit next. And so um, if we want to type in a subject of the email that's going to come to you, so it might be uh, you've just added your investor to your buyers list. And then you can type another message here. So this, this form is going to show up on the email that's sent to you with all the information that they fill in. So we just did that, and then uh, we can hit finish. If you want, you can also submit a thank you, like a redirect to a thank you page. Uh, you can have a default thank you page that, that JotForm will set up for you. You can have it go into a custom URL, so maybe you want it to go directly to another website that you have that maybe has properties available or something else you can offer. Uh, or you can just do a pop-up thank you message. Uh, let's just do that. So uh, right now they have a default message that says, thank you, your submission has been received. We can just change this a little bit. And so we will So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a link that they can click. Maybe it can take it to my property page. Click here to see the properties. All 
All right, so click here to see the properties we have available now. If I highlight this click here and I go up to this link, I can click on the link and I can create a link to a page that I have. So if I want to go to that'd be www. All right, so this is just a, a fake domain. Um, we can have it open up in the same window or open up in a new window and hit insert. So now we've created this link. Now if we hit finish, we are all set. So um, one of the cool things here is that you can take this form you just created and you can embed the form in a website that you have or um, in any number of different things. So we can put it on our WordPress site if we have, a Facebook page, uh, any kind of other blogger, Tumblr, any other kind of website that, that you've got. So let's just say you have a WordPress website. If we click on that, it gets, it's going to give you this JavaScript code that you can just copy and paste into your site. Uh, but let's say you don't have a website at all. Maybe you don't have a website, but you still want to get these, uh, uh, you want to be able to, to get buyer list submissions. So this web address right here can be used. You can just copy and paste that directly into uh, an ad on Craigslist or anywhere else that you're going to have people uh, you know, to see your, your, your ad for um, joining your buyers list. So if we just copy this, let's just open up a new page and we can paste it in. We can actually see what this website will look like. There it is. This is our form. So super, super easy. Um, if they fill this form out, let's just go Mike. We fill this out. We maybe click a couple things here. If we do and join our VIP buyers list, there it is. So that thank you page gets set up, and they can click to go to whatever domain or whatever uh, website you've told them to. And uh, let's go see if we actually get an email. All right, so we just add a new investor to the buyers list. This is the email we got, and uh, now we can start building our buyers list. Okay, so great. I want each and every one of you, if you are not capturing leads yet for your real estate business, to start doing that now. So whether that is a wholesale buyers list, whether it's a page you can capture seller leads, uh, you know, lease option buyer leads, whatever it is, um, set up a jot form, and uh, again, by getting a free account, you can get up to 100 submissions. That's going to really get you started in building up your list. And uh, after that, if you want to go to one of their paid uh, uh, plans, then you know you can get a lot, lot more, and you can really build a big buyer's list. So this will get you started. Of course, there's a lot of other um, different things once you have your website set up that um, you know other custom forms and, and using other you know email captures like uh, uh, Constant Contact or Aweber or some of the other ones that have a lot greater functionality. But at least starting out now, you've got no excuse to not build a buyer's list. So uh, hopefully this has been a good tip. And until next time, we will see you later. Take care.